So guys, the thing is that it's gonna be my birthday soon. I'm gonna turn 25, guys. 25! What? I don't feel 25, you know? Okay, since I'm gonna turn 25 this week, I'm gonna give you guys three things I learned as a 25-year-old. First thing is, you don't need a lot of friends. Unless you feel like you really need it, then obviously you do. But honestly, what I learned is, a few close friends who are there for you, plus your partner, is gonna be sufficient. This is still a lot of people. It's a lot of maintenance still if you wanna keep the friendship tight, you know? As we grow up, friendships are very important, right? We're having fun and meeting each other every day at school but everyone's gonna start to find their significant other and that's quite interesting right because your friends are there for a long time but this future person is gonna be your focus the one you love the one you admire and everyone wants to find that almost meaning that you don't need a lot of friends because eventually you will focus on your partner just like they would i want to just tell you guys quality over quantity and also you need a good partner a loving partner that makes you feel you're enough you are enough okay that was one um, second thing is don't rush so much. This thought probably crossed your mind before, but you are gonna probably, I'm not saying you are, but maybe you will work for the rest of your life after you graduate. Extending your studies, I don't think it's a bad thing. I'm not saying you should do it for many years. This time of being young is never coming back. It doesn't even matter what age you are, this age is never coming back. We all know that, right? When you're older, you're like, what did I spend my youth on? What did I spend my 20s on? Make sure you don't regret you didn't spend it on something memorable okay so my second tip as a 25 year old soon is don't stress don't hurry don't rush we are living right now we should be happy we are living right now right like let's be honest let's be for real you never know when you're gonna just take care of yourself be happy if you're not happy, you know there's something that should change. You know there's someone who should be cut off. You know there's something that you should do. The third thing I want to say to you as a 25-year-old soon is do not settle for less, okay? I feel like many girls are not sure if they want to stay with their partner. They're just there. I see guys too. They are not comfortable breaking up. No love. I do think that they're wasting their time. You should, of course, give it a chance. If you're in a relationship and you feel a little bit sad, the spark is gone. You should probably try and work it out, not just give up. But what I mean is, if you know by yourself that you're a really good person and you really don't deserve this kind of treatment, you should confront him or her. Or you should say, you know what, I deserve better, I should move on. Don't be concerned that you can't find someone. You will find someone. Oh my... Ow! Anyway, guys, I am turning 25 soon. Before I turn 26, I want to live in Korea. Oh my god, 26! Am I 26? <sighs> A few moments later. Hojun is almost home. It's a shopping mall. It's only one dollar. Really? <laughs> I won over you. Wow, Hojun's arms are so long. <laughs> We're going home now. Weather is amazing. Look at that. Yep, Hojuna. Hey, yep, you. 
we are walking home in this weather and it's actually not that cold it's just quite windy these days but like Putin and I were here almost one year ago for the first time together yeah <laughs> Has anything changed your perception of living in Europe or Scandinavia? When I came here for the first time, mm. uh, I felt less home here. Too foreign for you? Yeah, I didn't have any other friends than you. Any, any other human being. Social life. Yeah, now I feel more in the society. Do you have any tip for long distance couples who are traveling to each other's countries for the first time and they don't have anyone just like you didn't have anyone? So I would tell myself in the past I need to do more activities, group events. But what if it's an introvert you're talking to? Um, but still you need a friend at least one. You need to stress out. Yeah, just chill with your yeah, friend. Sure, yeah. The thing is guys, Hojun has many friends in Korea and some random friends are just popping up sometimes and he's like i'm gonna meet this friend i haven't seen him for years so when he came to denmark he only had me so i had to take all the roles you know did i do well though you did well yeah taking care of me so well. yeah. okay guys we just took a picture of hojun that he's gonna post on insta so make sure to follow his insta denmark is empty this is the capital city <laughs> yeah. this is this the is capital, capital city, 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 city. <laughs> <laughs> we are back home now and I'm gonna make some dinner for us. So today we're gonna make some chicken meatballs. Wow. Let me show you guys what I'm gonna start with. So guys, yesterday I juiced some carrots and apples. Woo, 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 I love this. I saved the carrot pulp and I'm gonna mix it with some grounded chicken. Carrot. I'm not sure if I should put all of it, so we're gonna start with half. Get some salt. Why did I use chopsticks for this? Hi, Hojuna. Hi, you look so interesting. It's gonna be good. Hojun is always like giving not really compliments. It's so peaceful, it's so interesting. <laughs> My eyes. Onion Can you see that I'm crying? Yeah, it's okay. Now we mix the hair day. There's gonna be a tear in this. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh my Whoa. god. I'm a professional normally. You. Hey. Oh. <laughs> wow, luxurious. The leftover. Hi, Robin. What is this? Uh... Grandma's ashes. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna include that clip. I am. Okay, guys, I am gonna make a juice for Robin now. Here is my slow juicer. I think I showed it before, maybe. Yeah, I love it. And I am gonna show you guys how I do. Whoa. Look at these beetroot loads of apples. We're gonna start juicing the apples. Woo woo! I don't think this is very time efficient, but I kind of like doing it. Look at all this juice. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Wow, Pujan's lips. Look. Oh. Mm. Oh! Look, 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 look. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 Looks like our tongues are bleeding. 
<laughs> so oh my god, why is yours so red? Wow, new type of lipstick. Imagine like just drinking this every morning and people are like, your lip color is so beautiful and it's all natural. Don't you think people used beetroot for lipstick in the past? Okay, a sick challenge if someone would do it, right? Like wash your face with beetroot juice. You would turn red. Okay guys, so um, we just finished our beetroot juice and I just want to say thank you for watching this video and yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye!